This audio program has been produced by PUB Samyugo. Actual test 2. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1. Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now listen to the four statements. I. Some people are paddling through the water. B. Some people are crossing the bridge. C. Some people are walking along the shoreline. D. Some people are camping in the forest. Statement A. Some people are paddling through the water. Is the best description of the picture. So, you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. A man is using a rake to move some leaves. B. A man is walking on a park area. C. Some trees are being removed. D. Some tools are placed on the grass. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A woman is securing a handbag on her shoulder. B. A woman is being photographed in the lobby. C. A woman is pulling a suitcase through a plaza. D. A woman is laying her bag on the chair. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. <clears throat> A. A cashier is accepting money from a customer. B. A cashier is checking her baby. C. A server is filling a beverage container. D. A customer is using a cash register. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A man is washing his hands. B. A man is turning on the light. C. A man is hanging up an apron. D. A man is holding a paintbrush. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. She is cleaning the telephone. B. She is looking at a recycling bin. C. She is making photocopies. D. She is repairing some office equipment. Number 6. Look at the picture marked number 6 in your test book. A. Some clocks are exhibited inside a glass cabinet. B. Some clocks are being disassembled on a table. C. Some dividers are being installed. D. Display cases have been broken. Go on to the next page. Part 2. Directions. You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. Can I have access to the documents on the computer? A. Sure, no problem. B. The cabinet is easily accessible. C. All papers should be filed on the computer. Number eight. <clears throat> we don't need to deliver the packages, do we? 
A. Mr. Lee should have that information. B. You should welcome our new delivery man. C. They are supposed to be here at 6 p.m. Number 9. When will the annual board meeting be held this year? A. To the accounting department. B. No later than June 2nd. C. Ms. Carter will preside over it. Number 10. I'd like to place an order for this body lotion from your home shopping catalog. I. Sure, we're offering two for the price of one. B. You have to remember where you place the catalog. C. No, I'm not available in that shopping center. Number 11. Would you prefer to leave in the morning or afternoon? A. The road was too icy to leave. B. In the morning, I appreciate your help. C. I'd like pancakes for breakfast. Number 12. What's going on with the charges on your phone bill? A. There was an extra charge for each outgoing call. B. There are some phones in the front desk. C. Yes, an automated billing system was damaged. <coughs> Number 13. Mr. Hendricks is looking for an assistant, isn't he? A. I'm not surprised. B. He was looking at a business report. C. He was hired as an assistant cook. Number 14. Where did you put the file you were working on last week? A. The project won't last until Friday. B. On that table in the corner. C. My secretary will work with you. Number 15. Who wrote this sales report? A. It was sold out yesterday. B. The reporter didn't come. C. Lena said she did. Number 16. Don't you think we should abandon our plan to open a branch in Ottawa? A. We should encourage him not to abandon his plan. B. Let me find it out for you. <clears throat> C. I think we need a new table. Number 17. You didn't belong to American Express Club, do you? A. Yes, the audience cheered and clapped. B. I thought you knew I do. C. I have often used the express mail service. Number 18. Why did Ms. Cleavage cancel her meeting with a buyer? A. She bought a ticket for the concert. B. Her returned items didn't meet the company's <laughs> return policy. C. Actually, it has been rescheduled. Number 19. Is there a table for a party of eight? A. I'll meet you at the restaurant. B. Yes, let's have dinner at 6 o'clock. C. Sorry, we don't have any available tables right now. Number 20. When do Claire's your show? A. I will take a walk close to Lake Placid. B. We are open until 6. C. You will drive to the shopping mall. Number 21. Is there a dress code at Ryan Cosmetics? A. Yes, but they can't see any dresses in the closet. B. No, they don't have one yet. C. The code number is 795. Number 22. Why is this bank so crowded? A. It is too small for the area. B. A crowd is gathered in a park. C. You should make a deposit right away.
Number 23. Who was our next appointment with? A. I'll check whether the doctor is available next week. B. You were appointed to the head of the budget committee. C. I think Jane is meeting with us. Number 24. Would you like to join Mr. McGregor and me for lunch tomorrow? A. No, but I just had lunch. B. Yes, I have been in your club since last March. C. What about the restaurant on France Street? Number 25. How can I contact Mr. Perez in the St. Bernard office? A. It's a very delicate contract, so be careful. B. You should stop by his office. C. He will finish his official education this fall. Number 26. Would you please pick up my mail while I'm gone? A. I will check your email address. B. Sure, if it isn't for too long. C. We didn't receive your response yet. Number 27. When shall we meet for the Denver Project? A. We'll find out the terms to meet. B. In the conference room. C. Sometime next week. Number 28. How can we get some information about the efficiency of this item? A. A group of its developers that will meet on Tuesday. B. Our policy is to sell the best product on the market. C. Put the information on the website. Number 29. Who accompanied you on your business trip? A. Just follow our directions. B. The director of the Human Resources Department. C. My supervisor is on vacation. Number 30. Did you know that we have to finish this job by tomorrow? A. There is a finish line in front of the court. B. No, I'm not going to the park tomorrow. C. I'll check the bulletin board. Number 31. What is the shortest way to get to the airport? A. Exit 5 will take you there. B. The subway stops running at 11.55. C. The airport is under construction. <clears throat> Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Leslie. It's me, Claire. We met at Emerson's home last month. Sure, Claire. How could I forget you? I knew we were studying in the same university. What a coincidence. Do you know Denny is also here? He just bought some food at the cafeteria. He'll be here in 30 minutes, and I'm sure he'll be glad to see you. I already graduated this year from Rice University. I just dropped by to pick up my brother, Jason. <coughs> I meet him here every day at 5 p.m., so he was supposed to be here an hour ago. I'm starting to get worried. There is a concert inside the school auditorium. Maybe your brother passed by there. Let's just wait for Denny, and we'll help you find your brother. Number 32. When did Claire meet Leslie? Number 33. Who is Claire supposed to meet? Number 34. According to Leslie, where might Jason most likely be? Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. 
The new marketing director came here yesterday. Billy Elston was such a humble and friendly person. Were you able to meet him? You mean the one who took over Grover Pino's position? I was on a business trip yesterday, so I wasn't able to see him. Wasn't he the manager in our branch in Singapore before? Yes, right. The company had a small lunch meeting yesterday, and all the employees got to meet him. Mr. Svensson and Mr. Codwell were very happy to have finally met Mr. Elston. I think they're excited to start working on their new marketing proposal. Since Mr. Pino retired, the proposal had to be put off temporarily. Number 35. Who was assigned to a new position in the company? Number 36. What did the man do yesterday? Number 37. According to the woman, where did Mr. Elston meet employees? <clears throat> Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation. Hello, Miss Sidney. Have you seen Miss Olivia? I've been looking for her all morning. Sure. I saw her go to the conference room with Mr. Clinton and Miss Lindsay. They brought in a pile of documents and some food and drinks. I think they'll be staying there for a long time. Why are you looking for her? She left her cell phone on the table in the cafeteria. Mr. Irving cleaned the table Miss Olivia used. He gave me the mobile phone so I could return it to her. I suggest you wait until they're done. It seems to be a very important meeting, and I don't think they'd like to be interrupted. Number 38. What didn't Ms. Olivia bring to the conference room? Number 39. According to the man, who cleaned the table that Ms. Olivia used? Number 40. What will the man do next? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Sorry for the delay. I started off early, but they were doing major work on the Ringwood Road, and it's going to last for the next one month. In this important time, that kind of situation is a real nuisance for our business. No problem. You could take the Westbury Road instead. It'll take 20 minutes longer than usual, but that's nothing compared with the delay of today. Yes, now that I know of the road work, I'll definitely take another route. Let's hurry to check our preparations for the contract before Ms. Bavorn comes here. Everything is perfectly ready, but finally I will check details once again. <clears throat> Number 41. What problem does the man mention? Number 42. What does the woman suggest the man to do? Number 43. What will the woman do next? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. You know, I think we could promote this new product a lot more effectively if we had a big launch for it. I think it could be our best-selling model. Sure. I'll get a hold of the newspapers and television stations and arrange a meeting no later than next week. Okay. I'll make some changes to our current radio advertisement. And why don't we have all our advertisements released at the same time in every media? You are right. You are always an idea bank. Number 44. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 45. What will the man do next? Number 46. What does the woman mean when she says, you are always an idea bank? Questions 
Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Jane, do you think it's fair that Todd got the promotion instead of Eric? What do you mean? Todd deserves the promotion. He's been working like a horse, Kane. I've lost count of how many times he's stayed overnight because of work. I'm not saying Eric doesn't deserve the promotion. He is also a hard worker, but I think Todd deserves it more. I guess you're right. It's just that Eric needs it more than Todd. His car was stolen last month, and he just lost his dog yesterday. It would have cheered him up if he had gotten the promotion. He's down in the dumps right now. Well, what can we do? Things like that happen. Why don't we ask him to go with us tonight to the movie theater? Number 47. What is the main topic of the conversation? Number 48. What does the woman think about Todd? Number 49. What will the speakers probably do next? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Who ordered the napkins for Bill's reception, Ma? I need to speak with them right away. I'm not sure exactly, but I can find out soon enough. What's the problem? They're not the color we wanted. We need to ask them to match the floor arrangements on all the tables. I think Elvin did. He would have overlooked a detail like that. However, he's extremely sensitive to design and decor. Number 50. What does the man mean when he says, I can find out soon enough? Number 51. What problem does the woman report? <clears throat> Number 52. What does the man say about Elvin? Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Lionel, did you hear that an accountant has been hired to increase office efficiency? Sure I did, but I don't support the idea. We had already agreed on taking several steps that would encourage efficiency and help eliminate <coughs> waste. So I feel that hiring an accountant wasn't necessary. Right, I remember the decision. There was the second quarterly meeting in June to decide to take some steps. I wonder why the management hired the unnecessary accountant despite the decisions. Well, I suppose they must have changed their minds or are disappointed at our third quarter sales results thus far. Maybe so. I'm in charge of our orders with the paper supplier, so I know our demands have not decreased as much as we expected. I hope the accountant has some good ideas. Number 53. What is the conversation mainly about? <coughs> Number 54. What does the man mean when he says, I don't support the idea? Number 55. What did the man expect the accountant to do? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. We'll be participating in the medical seminar next year, and we'd like to reserve hotel rooms. It's a good chance to see our future job partners in the drug industry. We went to London for the annual seminar two years ago, and we stayed at the Mondrian's Hotel. If it's still there, we'd like to stay again. Unluckily, it seems they're no longer in business. That area is mainly a housing district, so there won't be any hotels close to the venue. Oh, that's too bad. It was a really comfortable hotel for the price range. I guess we'll have to find another good hotel. Maybe there's some well-priced hotels close to the downtown area. In that case, there will be quite a few hotels to choose from. If you'd like, I can give you some information now. Number 56. What kind of industry will the speakers likely work in?
Number 57. What did the man like about the Mondrian's hotel? Number 58. What problem did the speakers report? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Hello. I'm very happy I found you both together here. I just knew we've won Bon Appetit Magazine's Restaurant of the Year Award. You don't say. I didn't expect such a great news after only being in business for two years. When will it be announced to the public? In the next issue of Bon Appetit. So, not until November. I want to use this for publicity. It'll really help our good reputation and bring in more customers. How about taking out a big advertisement in Bon Appetit? Great. We should make sure people recognize the award. I'll give them a call and check their advertising rates. Number 59. Why does the woman say, you don't say? Number 60. What will happen in November? Number 61. What do the men suggest to do? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm here to pick up my order. What's your name? I am Meryl Hicks. Wait a minute. I'm afraid your book must have been mixed up with the different customers. <coughs> as soon as possible. It's a gift for my friend. I wonder if your other location has one. Okay. That's the largest store in the area. Number 62. Where will this conversation most likely take place? Number 63. What problem does the man report about her order? Number 64. Look at the graphic. Where will the woman probably go next? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation. Simon, it looks like one of the carpets is pretty old. The ones in front of check-in desk in guest room 716, right? Correct. <clears throat> can you place an order for it? In fact, I'm going to go to the wholesaler and I can get one if you like. Very good. A silver one from Woosley's. If they don't carry it, a different brand is okay. But it should be the same size. That's all right. Number 65. What kind of job will the speakers likely be? Number 66. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 67. Look at the graphic. What brand will the man purchase? <clears throat> Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation. What floor are we on? We were two floors up from the parking lot. Look, there's a sign. I don't see any electronic stores, only clothing stores. We're supposed to meet the clients at the elevator lobby on the third floor and then take them up to the Sky Restaurant. The director suggested that we take them there. She said the steak is delicious. Isn't that expensive? Well, anyway, the art gallery closes at 8 p.m. We should probably show the clients the paintings that are for sale first and go up to the restaurant after that. I might try the seafood. Good, but first we need to meet our clients. Number 68. What floor are the speakers on now? <clears throat> Number 69. Look at the graphic. 
what will be sold on the floor where the speakers meet the clients. Number 70. What does the man recommend to the woman? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following telephone message. Thank you for accessing to the online office of Little Look Bookstore. You can find our offline office in the Longman Mall, located on Mellon Street. Our office opens at 9 a.m. and closes at 8 p.m., seven days a week. We are gladly ready to listen to your voice. Please press the numbers as directed. If you'd like to place an order, press 6. In case you would like to know your parcel state, please take advantage of our tracking service, press 7. If you'd like to receive any type of invoice or bill, please press 8. And for any dissatisfaction, cancellation, and return, press 9. For other information, press 0, and our advisor will help you with any problem. Number 71. For whom is this telephone message intended? Number 72. How many days does Little Look Bookstore open in a week? Number 73. What number can be asked to contact an advisor? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following news report. Hello, everyone. This is Cindy Wyndham of today's weather. It's 7.55 a.m. and time to go to work. At present, the skies in Portland are mostly sunny, but will become partly cloudy in the afternoon. There is a 70% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the east at about 6 p.m. However, from tomorrow for three days, the weather will be much warmer and there's a good possibility of bright summer-like weather. Therefore, you will be able to enjoy a lovely weekend. For more details on the weather update, join us at 9.55am. Number 74. What can be recommended for the residents living in the East? Number 75. According to the speaker, what kind of weather is expected for the next three days? <coughs> Number 76. What time will the next report be broadcasted? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to our monthly health seminar. Tonight, our keynote speaker is Professor Hunter Douglas from May Medical School in Rochester, Minnesota. He is going to tell us about a special feature on the targeted agents effect, focusing on one of the most controversial treatments. He has done research in this area for over 15 years. He did brain scans of people taking the common drugs versus the targeted agents to see the targeted agents effect in action. Following the lecture, free dinner will be given in the banquet hall on the fifth floor. Ladies and gentlemen, Let's give him a warm, rousing round of applause. Number 77. Who will appear after this introduction? Number 78. What is tonight's keynote speaker going to talk about? Number 79. What will the attendants do after the speech? <clears throat> Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following speech. 
As a psychologist specialist, Aaron Spencer will join us today. He has been on the psychological field for over 30 years, and after that, he traveled around the world introducing his latest book, The Importance of Heart. He not only introduces his book, he also performs psychological treatment. Today, he will speak to us about his family and his work. Aaron was born in 1958 in Ohio. His father, Jake Spencer, was originally from Arizona, but his family moved to Ohio around 1955. This was a short introduction of him. Now, let's welcome Aaron Spencer. Number 8. For how many years has Aaron Spencer been working in the psychological field? Number 81. What will Aaron Spencer talk about today? Number 82. What will happen after this speech? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following announcement. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the grand and glorious Great Rift Valley. Leaving Los Angeles, we begin our safari in Mombasa, located on the east coast of Kenya, approximately four degrees of latitude. Traveling in small planes, we leave the coastal city and fly approximately 970 kilometers northwest toward the Ethiopian border. We begin our exploration of Africa's Great Rift Valley by visiting Lake Turkana. We continue on our journey southward to Lake Magadi and Lake Natron, lying on each side of the Kenya-Tanzania border. These soda lakes are home to birds loved by most Californians. Traveling southward about 320 kilometers, we fly by Mount Kenya for a quick look. Then we continue on to Nairobi for a hot bath and a night on the town. I hate to say this, but this is it for today. Number 83. Who will the speaker most likely be? Number 84. Where will the listeners start their safari? Number 85. How far would the people travel towards the Ethiopian border by small plane? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following advertisement. Berlitz Education is a leader in the field of for-profit school management, offering quality education management services to private schools. In collaboration with local school personnel, Berlitz seeks to help students develop the necessary skills, <coughs> knowledge, and values to be effective and productive citizens. As of mid-year this past year, Berlitz managed 50 schools around the area, enrolling approximately 14,000 students. Academically, Berlitz brings out the best in students. Berlitz students consistently rank at the top. Parents, if you want your children to receive the finest education possible, send them to a Berlitz school. Number 86. What kind of business will Berlitz education work for? Number 87. How many Berlitz schools are in the area? Number 88. What does the speaker recommend the parents to do? <clears throat> Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following announcement. I'm honored to be here tonight to praise one of the fastest rising stars in the music industry. Jason Woodley's musical career is incredible. Before he even turned 30 years old, several of his songs had hit number one on the Billboard charts. By the time he was 35, amazingly, he'd won every major music award. That's 10 awards. And now, on his 40th birthday, he's announcing the start of his own record brand. Heal the world. 
He's asked me to be the managing director of the brand, and I'm proud to accept that position. Number 89. What is the main purpose of the announcement? <clears throat> Number 90. Why does the speaker say, that's 10 awards? Number 91. What did Jason Woodley ask the speaker to do? Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. Hello. I'd like to first thank you for all your hard work this year. As you know, two of our biggest rivals merged last April. This means that the market situation was very different this year compared to last year. In addition, we still have some tough competition in other areas, but we were able to increase our market share by nearly 10%. I'd also like to report that we achieved all of our sales goals for the year, except for one. Our strongest product line is our low-energy microwave oven. It was a very powerful year, and we couldn't have done it without everyone's cooperation. With the upcoming launch of our most innovative new product, there is great potential for the next year to be even more profitable. <coughs> Number 92. According to the speaker, what happened last April? Number 93. What does the speaker imply when he says, except for one? Number 94. What will the company do next year? Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following advertisement and list. Attention, please. We have some unbelievable bargains in our store today. Don't miss this chance. First, in the farm products department, where you can get 10 pounds of delicious bananas for just $7. <coughs> and over in the meat department, we have prepared ground beef for only $5 a pound. This ground meat is perfect for making the hamburgers your children like so much. Stop by our customer satisfaction center and pick up a free recipe for a terrific sauce to put on your hamburger. Finally, in frozen foods, the perfect dessert, that is, the ice cream pie is waiting for you. With a chocolate cookie crust, this pie serves well all the people, from the children to the old. First come, first served free. Thank you for shopping. Number 95. What is on sale in the farm product department? <coughs> Number 96. What can listeners get at the Customer Satisfaction Center? Number 97. Look at the graphic. How many people will the free dessert be served? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following instruction and map. Since all of this can be a little difficult for first-time visitors to find, please observe my direction guidance carefully. First, turn left from North Exit from Fresh Pond Metro Station and walk two blocks. From there, the road will divide into three ways. You should take the middle road. Continue walking down the smaller road until you reach a body shop, which is on the right side of the road. Between the mart and the parking area, there is a small doorway where you will find an intercom labeled with our company name. Please buzz the intercom and someone will unlock the door for you to come in. Number 98. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which of the following will the visitors pass through? Number 100. What will the listeners do to enter the office?
This is the end of the listening test. Turn to part 5 in your textbook. End of recording.